Good day everyone. Here's our math challenge for today. And here's our question. What is the value of x given the 2 raised to x plus 2 raised to 3x equals 10, wherein x is a real number? Now, you can pause this video if you want to give this problem a try. And now, let's answer this question together. Now, the given is this equation 2 raised to x plus 2 raised to 3x equals 10. Now, take note that if we have b raised to n times m, it is equivalent to b raised to n raised to the power of m. Therefore, this term 2 raised to 3 times x can be written as 2 raised to x raised to the power of 3. Now, Notice that we have a common term of 2 raised to x. So this is safe to replace this one by another variable and let's call this as a. Now we need to replace all 2 raised to x with a. This will give us a plus a cubed equals 10. Now let's rearrange some terms a little bit and equate this equation to 0. Now, how are we going to answer this equation? One way to answer this equation is to factor out this equation. And the question is, how are we going to factor this cubic equation? And one way to factor this is to realize that this a can be written as negative 4a plus 5a. So negative 4a plus 5a is still a. Now what is the purpose of breaking a into negative 4a and 5a? Now let's see. Let's group the first two terms and let's group the last two terms like this. And on the first two terms, let's factor out a. So we have a times a squared minus 4. Now take note that this 4 is just 2 squared. Therefore, we can use difference of 2 squares to factor out this expression. So difference of 2 squares, if we have a squared minus b squared, it is equivalent to a plus b multiplied by a minus b. Therefore, this a squared minus 4 or 2 squared can be factored as a plus 2 multiplied by a minus 2. Now, here we go. If you factor out 5 in these last two terms, this will give us 5 times a minus 2. So we have now a common term of a minus 2. So we can factor out a minus 2. This will give us a minus 2 multiplied by a times a plus 2 plus 5. Now let's distribute this a. So this will give us a squared plus 2a. Now, since it is equal to 0, it follows that at least one of them must be equal to 0. But let's focus first on this equation, a squared plus 2a plus 5 equals to 0. And take note that if we get the discriminant of this quadratic equation, we get a negative value for the discriminant. It follows that the value of a in this equation is not real. And if this a is not real, then x is also not real number. And we don't want to have that value of x. We want x to be a real number. Therefore, the only factor that will give us a real value for x is this factor a minus 2 equals to 0, wherein this a must be equal to 2. Now, since a is equal to 2 and it is also equal to 2 raised to x, we can say that 2 raised to x must be equal to 2. Now, take note that 2, this 2 can be written as 2 raised to 1. Now, since we have the same base and they are equal, therefore their exponent must be equal. Therefore, x must be equal to 1. Therefore, given this equation 2 raised to x plus 2 raised to 3x equals 10, then the only real value for x must be equal to 1. And as always, we are done.